So, ladies and gentlemen, what we have is we have this rectangle, A, B, C, D. Uh, well, that's at least what the problem says. It's a rectangle, right? So when we know it's a rectangle, we have to go through these properties again, or what are all the things we need to know about a rectangle? Well, we know that opposite sides, right, are parallel. These two sides are parallel. These two sides are parallel. We know that opposite sides are congruent, right? These two sides are congruent, and these two sides are congruent. And that means they're equal in measure, right? We also know that opposite angles are congruent, right? And we also know that all the angles are 90 degrees, right angles. So let's go and look at what information we have here to do this problem. It says DE equals 6x minus 7. So that means this distance from here to here equals 6x minus 7. And EC, this distance right here, is equal to 5x minus 15. So what they're giving us, yes? Oh, it's DE and AE? Yeah. Did I write down the problem wrong? So number four, right? And that's, so DE equals 6x minus 7, and AE equals what? 4x minus 9. Oh, OK. And you're finding DB? Yeah. OK, I guess the same, really, it's the same thinking. I'm doing number four. So AE is 4x plus 9. It's really actually going to be the same operation. All right, so then they give us the diagonals. So now we need to go back to our notes and think about what is it that we know about the diagonals. Is that, do you have your homework out? Write down the problem, because then this is one less problem you guys have to do. Yes? The diagonals are congruent, right? Do you guys remember we talked about that? That was the one condition. That was the only thing new that we went over last class period, is that the diagonals for a rectangle are equal in measure. Besides that, a rectangle has all the other properties of a parallelogram. So now we've got to go back and think, all right, well, what were the properties of a parallelogram for the diagonals? So you have to go back to notes for two days ago and think about, all right, again, what did the diagonals do, right? For a parallelogram, how are the diagonals related to each other? Now, so one, we know that this diagonal is equal to that diagonal, right? There is also one, met one else, one something else that's very, very important about the diagonals of any parallelogram. Zeth, I'm going to have to have you either put that face down on your desk, um, put a pen or pencil in your thing, or we're going to have some problems, because you need to be paying attention to watch this, write this down. Does anybody remember what else was about parallel? What else about the diagonals? We know in a rectangle the diagonals are equal to each other, but there's one more extra property. Zach, do you remember? Huh? Think about the diagonals, just the diagonals. Elizabeth? No. What about the diagonals? Something that rhymes with tisection. Yes. They bisect. they bisect each other, right? They cut each other in half. So let me ask you this question. If this, right, that whole side is equal to that, this is equal to that. And if they cut each other in half, OK, well, let me do this. So this diagonal is equal to that diagonal, right? That's per a rectangle. We also know per the par parallelogram that this side dissects this side, and this, this di bi diagonal bisects this one. Well, if they're both equal in length, then when you cut them all in half, you have four equal lengths. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So guess what, guys? These all are equal in measure for all rectangles. So if they're equal in measure, equal, equal, that means we can set an equation. So now I can say 6x minus 7 is equal to 4x plus 9. Now I have an equation. Now I can find the value of x. So I subtract 4x on both sides using subtraction property of equality, 6x minus 4x is 2x minus 7 equals 9. Now I can use uh, my two-step equation, use my inverse operations, and I have 2x equals 16, divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 8. All right, but that's not what they asked, right? They said, what is, um, what is the length of db, not what is x? Well. If this guy's is 6x minus 7, and this is equal to this, what does this length have to be as far as an expression? 
6x minus 7. Right? So really, the length of dB is equal to 2 times 6x minus 7. Would you guys agree about that? I could say 6x minus 7 plus 6x minus 7, but you could also write it like this. It's two of them, right? 6x minus 7 plus 6x minus 7, or 2 times 6x minus 7. Well, now I know that x equals 8. So first thing I'll do, though, before I do that, I'll apply the distributive property. So I have 12x minus 14. And then I have 12 times 8 minus 14. OK, cool. So um, 12 times 8 is going to be uh, 90, 96. And then this will be equal 82. Ta-da. OK, so ladies and gentlemen, these problems are all about knowing your properties. You've got to know the properties that we wrote down um, for your rectangles. And you have to know those properties of the parallelogram.